In this video, we'll see the next example of if else statement. Now, what exactly is if else statement is? If the condition is true, it will display some answer. If the condition is false, it will display one more answer, the other answer. Now, in the previous video, if you remember, we have seen if condition that is single if statement. It was working only when the condition was true. When the condition is false, we never used to get the answer. Let us see here. I have just written here some marks, let's say 44, and I want the result as pass or fail. So if the condition is, if the marks are greater than 35, I want the result as pass. If the marks are less than 35, I want the result as fail. So how do I get it? I can use if else statement itself, if else condition. So I'll get, just go to this developer tab and I'll click on this visual basic. I have already written a code over here. That's a macro part. Now in this h module h underscore if underscore else statement i have written a code here that's a macro part i'll just close this so i'll get maximum space to use it i'll close this part okay now if you remember in the previous video we have seen if range a2 dot value is greater than 35 it will be executing this statement it will be executing this as pass but now if it is fail it will not be showing any answer so now for this example that's the code for this example that's the code now let us see that sub procedure if underscore test2 if range a2 dot value is greater than 35 that means range a2 dot value is greater than 35 then if this condition is true it will come here that is range c2 dot value equal to pass so that means in cell number c2 it will display pass when the number is greater than 35 else if the condition is not satisfied range c2 dot value equal to fail that means in this place it will display as fail and finally i have to close this end if condition right i have to close this if i have say as end if and end sub procedure so let us see an example here i'll just keep my cursor at this place and i'll execute it step by step now i'll just click on this step into step into step into now this value is greater than 35 that means it is greater than 35 therefore it came into this place okay i'll click on this place now if you see the answer i've got is pass so after it went for pass it will not go inside the else it will jump outside this and say as end if condition i'll just click on this place and click on this end sub so it is working for the pass condition properly now what if i change this value less than 35 if i change the value as to 12 okay and if I want to execute this statement, if I want to check whether it's pass or fail, I can just keep my cursor, click on this step into, step into. Now it will check whether the value is greater than 35 or not. If the value is not greater than 35, it will jump to this other place. Okay. I'll just click on this step into. Now if you see, it is not greater than 35, so it went to the else condition. Now I'll click on this step into step into now if you see it automatically changed for fail after executing this particular statement it has changed to this fail part and finally it will click on this end end if condition and end sub procedure right so i hope you're able to understand if you want two answers one is for the fail condition and pass condition you have to use this particular code that is if else condition statement itself right so that's a code which is given here and that's a particular example which which can be used at this place i hope you have understood that's all for this video